Okay, let's go crew. All right, we had uh, non-farm payrolls today. Non-farm payrolls, we knew there's gonna be some good movement. Right before the news posted, we said we're looking for a retest short on gold and crude, and both worked out beautiful. Why? Why were we looking for a short, our bias, and not long? The first thing you do when you first log in the trading system, we got our big chart over here to the left. These templates are already pre-made for you for your own computer. It works on all markets. It don't matter what market you look at, you'll have it preset. The template will have a big chart like this. This is market profile. These big red, blue, and green lines are looking at all the volume coming in the market from all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, professional, amateur traders, etc. So they're going to be major support and resistance. But these market profile levels don't mean anything. The thickest red, green, and blue are the most important. That's volume related. They don't mean anything unless you know trend direction. Remember, the market, make it simple, can only do two things. It can either trend or it can chop. That's it. Don't make it difficult. When you, when you sit down at your trading desk, you got to ask yourself one thing. Whatever market you're looking at, S&P, Dow Minis, NASDAQ Futures, Crude, whatever you're looking at, you got to ask yourself one thing. You look at this market profile chart. You look at this Magenta MA. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance, but they're great for trend direction. That magenta MA right there, if it's angled down, we're looking for short retracements. So before the news posted, I said we're looking for short bias. We're looking for short retracements. Not buy retracements. No buy even came into my head. Not even, not even think about any buys. You don't even think about buying. Pre-news. You're thinking about shorting crude and gold. Why? Look at the angle down. Look at gold beside crude. Look at that angle down. This is a short setup we're looking for. It called the arrow called the high right here. Right at the high. Right at the high right there. The arrow came in. Look at that short on crude. Gold. Why? Look at the angle down. We're angled down. We're angled down. We're for short retracements. Not buy retracements. We're for short retracements. Okay? So we're for short. Now, the two things about this, these markets was this. Why do I have a small white MA on there? I have a specific setup. We named it a shark bite when we first opened the room. We used to actually page traders on their emails when this setup came up when we first opened the room. And what happens is, is when this MA gets out of alignment, you see how it's not running parallel with our magenta anymore. Magenta on both markets, angle down. And the white MA gets out of alignment. It looks like a little hook. It looks like a big seagull opening its mouth right there, seagull. Look at the big hook. That means we're in a solid retracement short. So you can tell we had a retracement in the high value area. Once we get into high value, you're going to look for negative market delta. We'll put gold back. Look for negative market delta. And the arrows. What do we have up here? Right at the high. Right into high value area. Look at our arrow short right there at the high. Now, once the arrow posts, or once you get into high value, you don't even need an arrow once you're into high value because the rules state if you're in a downtrend, you want to sell high value, sell control point, sell break retest LVA coming up. So what you want to do when you get a retracement into high value, look for, the, look for an arrow short, and then also confirm with negative market delta. Negative market delta is below. There's your negative market delta post. It was negative 38. Once that closes red, open it up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. You scale your first position on the first push, 50%. Let the runner run using your symmetry dots that we have or offset market profile, which came all the way down to LVA, low value area, or wait for a positive market delta again. So you got that whole trade right there. That nice trade right there is a nice trade on crude. Not only did they hit market profile, we had a red arrow short, and we had negative market delta. Any arrow that comes up, you should have an arrow that confirms. Let me repeat. Any arrow that pops up, you should have a, a delta that confirms. You want delta to confirm. You can see on this short-term chart, the arrow popped up. Delta's green. It's retracing back up. We're getting a retracement, so that's not a short. You want negative market delta to pop you in this market again on the retest of the low value area. You need negative market delta. 
This delta down here on the bottom chart will show you the order imbalance. That's how we're going to fire into the trade. That's how we're going to fire into the trade. So that was a retest short with an arrow with negative market delta. That's how you put it all together. Okay? The key for, for nice retracements is this. When you first log in, like I said, don't worry about the arrows. Don't worry about market delta. Don't worry about market profile unless you ask yourself, am I trending or am I in a range? If I'm trending down, I do not look for buys. I look for retracement shorts in the red, blue, green resistance with an arrow with negative market delta. And you don't even need an a, a arrow if you get negative market delta on a retracement if it's a first test. Just had another successful one on gold again. Gold is just cranking them out today. Came in, arrow short, negative market delta, another successful trade on gold just fired again just a second ago. Okay, that's perfect alignment. Resistance, arrows in the perfect area of a short, negative market delta. Okay, that's how we want to do it. But make sure you get the trend. If it's trending down, sell retracements. Trending up, look for buy arrows, buy retracements. If we're flat, you log in, magenta's flat as a pancake, sell red, buy green, ignore the blue line. Okay, that's how we want to do it. Gerald, go to gold real quick. Roll over to gold. Roll to gold. All right, look at gold. Look at the sell retracements on gold. Look at how negative market delta lined up with this last sell we got going on right here. Into LVA. Negative market delta, negative 208. Look at the roll we got now. Look at the arrow retracement shorts because we're going with trend. We're looking for arrows with trend. Arrows with trend. Match it up. That's all we're going to do. 